quarter. And first order businesses that I'm going to resign as the secretary effective this morning. Um, I just, I'm done putting that much time and energy and work into it. Um, I mean, I write them and then Karen gets to rewrite them, and so the whole thing is just like crazy. Um, so I'm, I'm done. Patience level, gone. I'm still here, but I've been. I'm not mad, I'm just done. You did very well. That's really exciting. Definitely I appreciate your work. Yeah, you've it, done this. It, it's, it, it's, it's a little bit yes. it's, it's a skill set that I know I don't have. So, um, so I guess what that does is it puts us on the first order of business of um, under other business we're going to have to um, elect. Uh, music. So um, we'll add that to our agenda. We'll move forward. We need to have somebody that is willing to take uh, minutes at this time. Or if we can push the other business up with a approval um, to go ahead and, and take care of this first thing so we can get a secretary in place. So um, I get a motion that we could vote on. I move okay. that we uh, move other business up to to, to take care of this agenda item. I second that. Okay, great. Um, can is there anybody that's willing to um, put themselves out there to do this? Again, Connie stepping away from the board. All right, are you going to be returning to the board? No, I'm sorry, I've had enough. It's kind of changed. Can I nominate Karen? <clears throat> it's just for two meetings, really, because we'll be electing officers in January. January. Yeah. We could That's be something to you'd be willing to do. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, all in favor of, of Karen being the, the secretary until the end of um, the season in January? I. Been approved. All right, moving forward. Um, the approval of the minutes from the previous board meeting. Um, all right. We made the changes to them uh, with some suggestions from Karen. I went back and watched the meeting again and reworked all of the minutes. Um, so so that's what these are. Yeah, that's these are reworked. And Karen, I don't know how where you are with that. I incorporated most of what you have. There's some things one that I didn't put in. Because yeah. they weren't mentioned at the meeting, so I didn't put them in. So I think the only highlights that I think are necessary to just address so that I speak to minutes going forward. Um, I had taken out those couple of sentences you had in the manager's report only because they're in the manager's report. The data, that, in, that information is in the manager's report. And the whole point of us incorporating her report in the minutes is to not be redundant and write certain things in the minutes and uh, omit, you know, by any purpose or anything, but omit other information. So it was just a matter of take those two sentences out because they're in Kathy's report. And I left them in because they were just, they were discussed in the meeting and, and kind of a highlight, basically, mm -hmm. of, her, mm -hmm. of her report. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, yes. because they were highlights, you wanted them in the report, right? Yes. So, so, do we want to uh, approve the minutes as submitted by Karen Free? Well, and there's one other last thing that is of importance, and that's any other business. And with respect to um, when, when we're going to, when Kathy read that email, mm -hmm. and um, rather than paraphrase, I think it would be probably more appropriate if we either quote something or we just attach the email. That's true, we could do that. That works. Yeah, I, I, know, I like the attached email. That I do too. It is it's just, it's it clear is that it's exactly what it was. Okay. Yeah. 
So I would say, and I, I sent a new version of I got you, you, and, and Kathy this morning. Of right. that, just leaving that, or um, making it, you know, basically the first part of this up to the where he reached out to Susan Davis of Kingfield in May. Mm -hmm. And then I put, I mean, Kathy read the email. It is the C attached. Yeah, that was provided to the board members. It is attached. So just okay. for, and, I, and really it's, I want to make sure um, that, that everyone understands. It's not a nitpicking thing. It's not a personal attack. It's more of a, because of all of the research that was done for the grant, and the uh, discrepancy in information, the inaccuracies, which is really difficult. I'm trying to preserve things so that they're as factual and consistent as possible. And that's really my focus with being really <coughs> meticulous about um, documenting things. It makes it easier for people coming it behind is. us. Yeah. Or in front of us, however you want. Right. <laughs> 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 okay. so. It's really more from that point. So if, if that's okay. Yeah. I, I, I think that's a very good suggestion, Karen. Mm -hmm. So so we'll attach the email. Okay. Okay. I'll move we accept the minutes as presented with that caveat that the the email be attached. I second it. Okay, all in favor? Okay, moving forward. Um, house managers report, and Kathy is not going well today, so. I mean, what okay. is there? Okay, yeah. What you see is what you get. I thought it. I know she's super good at answer, and I don't know if any of you can answer, but I have a couple some questions. You can try. Okay. You can try. All right. Well, I don't know. Um, it, it's nice that she's added one new book. I wanted to. I wanted to know how it was selected. How many members are in the club? How many meetings they have for months? If they do any community service or outreach or benefit focus on philanthropy for the community. So that was something that. Yeah, probably you, you would not know about it. But again, the purpose behind that, and everything I do is with purpose, so I just want you to, to know it's nothing, never any kind of personal attack. Um, the purpose behind that is that for future grant writing, we want to diversify um, the um, clubs that meet here as much as possible, and that includes um, you know, not just what they do for their own club, but what they do for the community, um, because that does Go yeah. nicely and um, presenting a reason, a very justified reason why they should invest in our in our project. Okay. Um, is there any other questions? Yeah, I was going to ask when will the selections for the um, bids be done? Because obviously the um, I think we have that as a it is a business item okay. right under the grants. Okay, good. And then um, are Carrie and Ozzy coming to another board meeting to present anything? Because have, have we? There's no plan for that at this moment. Okay. Until they have anything to present, I don't think we have a moment. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? I'll, I'll probably just table us for next month. But just the, the breakdown of, of of events. I know we we keep having tours, open houses, and Heart Walk ice cream. And under functions, but we also have it separated and open housing tours might be more effective for, again, future grant writing if we have those numbers separated out. So, okay. okay. Well, th well, that's something to consider and, and honestly, and for clarification, when we go forward um, to present to City Council, I would like to make sure that those numbers are really clear and concise so that we can speak with that. Mm -hmm. But that's something that we're still working on. So, um, again, that's that's on moving forward then from the house manager's report. Um, one last thing. Oh, one last thing. I'm yeah. sorry. Because we have um, revenues year to date at one hundred forty thousand, and expenses year to date at one hundred eighteen thousand. That means approximately twenty two thousand um, is being put into the Calicut House Fund. And, but do you know about that? Or 
the funds, the funds aren't done until <coughs> final until the far into 2023. Right. And she does have some bookings that are set for this year where they put outlays out, mm -hmm. you know, and haven't gotten all the money in. Right. So this number is still a moving target. Right. And it's yeah. not final by any stretch. Right. So, but it's just uh, so yeah, today, no that's money. looking like at least that is going into the fund, right? Yeah, she's the, they're operating in the black. It's, yeah. it's doing fine. Mm -hmm. um, and it's booking things. Um, and she said there was a wedding coming up in the winter, which was odd. Yeah, huh. you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thing, so. we'll, we'll take it though. Yeah. 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 Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's yeah. outlays that haven't yeah. been received yet because that wedding hasn't happened. So right. there, as far as I'm aware, it's operating the black. The amount of the black is not going to be finalized until spring. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And again, the purpose behind my question there is. If for some reason, because we're concerned about the grant fund is not potentially covering all of the projects, Should if for we some reason we need funding additional reason. funding, then um, either we have that in the Calhoun House Fund, because that is the purpose of the fund to help you know, provide restoration preservation of the house. Um, and then also for additional funds that we have then to match for another grant. I would, yeah. I would say at this moment that, that that's, that's putting reason. the cart before the horse and we don't even have the bid yet awarded. So, I mean, there's so many unknowns at this point and those are excellent questions. It's probably just further downstream um, to, to be focusing or nervous about it at this time. Right, only because it was raised when um, Carrie and Ozzy were here that um, the bids may come in higher than our, our grant amount would provide. To us <coughs> asking, hey, we need to double check and make sure. We, yeah. I, I understand where you're yeah. coming from, Karen. I think it's we're trying to have some um, forethought ourselves to kind of, and it's all speculation. Mm -hmm. It, it yeah, is, but mm -hmm. but um, it we have knowing that the, the bids are probably going to be higher, then that gives us the chance to get ahead of it and to play mm -hmm. and try to come up with some positive um, uh, uh, options. So we have a, a flexibility in that way too. Okay, does anybody else have any other questions in regards to the status of the grant? Okay, we're going to move forward um, to the Christmas de house uh, decorating on the 14th and luncheon. Um, exactly, does everybody know the time on that? Okay. Supposed to be here three third. Stay until four. Okay. For decorating. Oh, I've got it up the deck. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm on my calendar. I was going to say, so that's a little late starting. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's oh. 9 a.m. Yeah, it's 9, 9 a.m. And, and is there anything that, we, that um, are we thinking about? In the past, I know um, we did the themed tree upstairs. Were we thinking of anything in, or repeating that, or, or is there any suggestions that we have for the current um, status of how we'd like to decorate the trees in each room? Does anybody have ideas? Well, we already have all the decorations up there, so basically, unless we're going to buy all new decorations. No, well, but, and, but and we, last but, year I, I brought the Storybook characters. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, was that was a great one. No, so. it was upstairs oh, in the, oh, in the yeah. Santa Cruz. Yeah. So, yeah. so are we going to, oh, yeah. are we going to, are you willing to do that again? I, I, I still have them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get rid of them. So and and I, I, I graciously kind of asked if you're still willing to do that. Um, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't sure. Or if, if you're willing to, have, if you want anybody to add pieces or, or are you willing to just take that tree and she did such a beautiful job with it. Oh, that's <laughs> fun. Um, and if y'all have the same things, storybook character kind of things or teddy bears or whatever, that would be great too. But. Yeah. Yeah, I have thought about bringing glass ones, but I'm thinking. Oh, that's not Yeah. Because I have yeah. great, like, Alice in Wonderland yeah. and um, Peter Pan, and they're all kind of in glass. You know, oh, I think with yeah. the kids up there, Santa. I'm going to yeah. renege on that one. <laughs> I think you no. should Again, on that one. I, I like your, yours are much more durable. How do, or, but yeah, it, they are. are. I've got a glass That's too, true. but it just, it gets um, mingled a little mm -hmm. bit when you're de-decorating and things. So that was very, I feel tricky. Yeah. 
great place. So, if y'all don't mind, no, I, I don't mind. I think that would be very, very. I was looking at the bags the other day. I thought, okay, we'll have them ready if we need to. Mm -hmm. right. So, that, so basically, so, that's what I was asking. Okay. I know we have a pretty set tradition on what we do with certain trees, but with that one, Connie was very gracious to do that, and um, I think that would be worth it. And it turns out if y'all if y'all want to yes oh um, absolutely that would be most appreciative that's why it's on that agenda um, and then for the luncheon I wasn't sure exactly how we were doing that Kathy was going to take orders mm -hmm. was she going to take orders mm -hmm. yeah is that what we're doing or mm -hmm. because or were we going to just brown bake it and, and bring it in and, uh, I think she was going to send out an order for you guys to okay. select what you want yeah. Yeah. I believe it was Panera yeah. yeah okay thank you. Um, maybe each of us individually email Kathy what we would request from Panera because that's what she had said. Hey, you need to I think I should be sending out something to us before and uh, we'll because start. I because I'm sure she's probably getting a set price of some kind. I'll just wait until she sets out an order <clears throat> because obviously you know I don't want to be too too much of a headache. Just make it simple. We'll touch base with her and yeah. then make sure. Okay. In her uh, not doing well stage. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Pretty well, much everything can wait a while. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I, I don't think I've ever had any. Yeah. Okay. On to, um, unless anybody else has any other comments on the Christmas decorating, um, is everybody going to wear their Santa hats? I get a kind of Antlers. Antlers. Antlers or whatever decorative period. Uh, um, anyway, um, moving on to the uh, Santa Open House or the Open Houses um, 2022 Santa Open House on December 2nd. Um, registration and opening November 18th. Okay, it's the 18th. I said 18th. It's the 17th or the 18th. I'm pretty okay. sure it's the 18th. Okay, so it's right around the corner, yeah. and we're just going to wait and see how it goes. It's all set to go, so you can look on online at our um, the registration thing, and you can read the whole thing and look at it, look at the times, and it just says if you click on it, the registration opens November 18th. Um, we have it opening on, I believe it's Friday because constant content comes out on Thursday. Thursday. Uh -huh. Okay, so we were trying to have people. Um, be able to open it throughout the day mm -hmm. and then register the next day. Wonderful. I think was the logic on that one. Thank you, Simone. Okay, and then as far as staffing, I know that we we're going to, um, uh, Karen, you had said something about reaching out to past board members. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that yet because I did not want there to be a feeling of expectation or um, anything like that given that the um, um, uh, board interviews not yet occurred so i didn't want to um, we know of at least one and maybe a second uh, prior board member who's applied and i didn't want them to feel an obligation or that there was an expectation that all. they had a survey so they weren't we'll have to wait until the news okay yes. well and kathy's been uh, really generous at volunteering for some of sam who's one of our um, recreation staff members at her events Mm -hmm. And so Sam has graciously offered to man the door so that that one, there's no, that leaves your knowledge of Callahan to be fully accessible to people in the yes. building. And then she can just do the, the door admittance stuff mm -hmm. to free you guys up. Oh, that's nice. That's Thank you. Thank wonderful. you for doing that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've yeah. met Sam yeah. and I, I yeah. like her very much. She's very yeah. good. Yes. So, um, so I guess that what that does is it enables us to figure out how would we like to then staff it ourselves. I know we were assigned rooms and and what last year. I'd like to do that now. Um, so I'm going to put it up to you, the board on on how exactly we'd like to go ahead and staff this. In the past, we had a committee, but we didn't have a committee for this this year. Um, so. How would we like to go ahead and staff that the space? Any suggestions? Do we like pick where we want to be? Is that what you mean? Well, I know that um, unfortunately, because of last year, um, my mother passed away about this time, so right. I wasn't here at the event. But I know that I had requested that I could be in the Santa room for 
a certain period of time. Didn't we switch off? We rotated that. Yeah. And I think we should set that up so we have a rotation again. I think that would be good because that's a cool area to be in and with us all the joy of the kids and that. I, I like work in the bridal area. You do? The bridal room. It's warmer. It's the way it is. warmer. <laughs> and and, 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 and you, do you want to rotate or you don't care to? I'm fine just in the bridal room because I go ahead and introduce the children to whoever's rotating okay. in Santa's room. Okay. Yeah, so that's fine. So, so yeah. Janice pick is the bridal. Uh -huh. Okay. And did you have any preference? Uh, I like the power room. Okay. And you don't, do you care to rotate? I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I don't care. care. Only if you, okay, but you don't have to. If you like the parlor, let's put you there and then. Yeah, I mean, if I get bored, you want to change. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. I don't really, it doesn't bother me. But okay. Karen? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'll take yeah. music room. What music room? Doesn't matter. Music Why? library, either way. Uh, yeah, I'm flexible. I am too. Okay, does anybody want to rotate? Or is it just and part of that is I'm um, my husband has a medical procedure that's scheduled at 1 30 that day oh, okay so and he's down in Lafayette so I'm I was like okay I didn't know that until we got sure. our calendars together okay so, so I may be only here like the or something like that. so if I can be the rover. Yeah, <laughs> well, be that, the that would be yeah, a good place yeah. to put you. And yeah. then, and so when you can, and if it doesn't work, because we all have situations yeah. in our life that yeah. come up, yeah. and it will yeah. just go from there. Okay. Um, Karen Cruz, did you have a preference where you want to be? Um, sure. Shoes. I'd love to be in the Santa room. I, I love kids, and I, because I didn't get to experience that last year. I really would love to do that. Okay. There you go. If that's okay. Not to be greedy or anything. Okay, so are we all set then? Is there any more discussions on open houses at this point? Sure, which room are you going to be in? I'll be in the foyer because that's, that's the entry. Okay. All right, moving forward to the house manager's person. Uh, pictures projects um, five minutes and the big thing was I was going to ask Kathy where we were on the ordering of the framing system do you know anything about it then um, I do not have an update for that at this time okay so we'll move right ahead then um, past and present board member wall acknowledgement project um, have we heard anything more from from the the um, Printer to do the backgrounds on that. We don't have a, we don't have an update on that. Um, okay. They're getting closer to fully staffed in their organization of things, which is a which is awesome. Um, is this something that's really going to be probably put off until the first of the year? Mm -hmm. More most likely with all the DC season coming up and everything, that they won't get to it. Or if you need it sooner. Um, let me know the urgency of that because we can send that out for pay. Well, so no, I, I, I don't. I don't think we want to have to pay for that. Okay. I'm okay if we push it off personally, unless anybody else. Well, I am personally okay if we just push it off. I just am trying to get a mindset in my head. Gotcha. Uh, if, the, if this project, if they can't even look at it until the first of the year, fine. Then we're going to put it off, and we'll we'll table it, and we'll put it back on to, for discussion. He can talk about the project until January. Right. But if it, that's where you're coming from, I just need to know. I I will. I'll reach back out. Um, the things that I heard is that they believe it's very possible to come up therapeutically. Um, the other thing they were wondering is if there's a time that you guys would like to do a reenactment of that scene. Into a photograph from the same angle of, of this time frame. Obviously, we, we miss. I mean, it's a future boat because the garden is not where you'd want it to be for a letterhead. Mm -hmm. So, she was thinking of those two options: either restore what was, which they can still do because they they, they came across pretty nicely, mm -hmm. um, and or recreate, mm -hmm. um, or have both. 
you know, because you could see. How I like the it. idea of doing a historic one, but for the future reference, I think it would be great to have for future use to have a more. What is everybody's opinion on that? Can we clarify what what is? It's it? an image. The the letter. Well, it would be Karen. Maybe you could explain it. But we're just talking about the letterhead, right? Right, which is a very decorative, right, um, right. like a four-inch tall yeah, um, image. Letterhead. It's beyond yeah, letterhead. Letterhead. Right. Letterhead. Yes, it's a very exaggerated so letterhead. Our choice is to use the, the original they can um, handle, or do a new one. And or if you wanted to recreate it. Because it looks very photographic. It um, does. It, it, it is. It's very, very Tom Callahan's letter to the board mm -hmm. and to the city when after his visit um, was on that stationery. I, so I we personally read that for scanning and oh, recreation. It's like a photograph of the rough. postcard that they had with the Callahan house. It was mm -hmm. we have one of those postcards oh. too. You know, if you're going to decide, though, I'd have to see. Exactly. Yeah, like, you know, it sounds beautiful. It does. It sounds beautiful. And it was. Yeah, it was beautiful. Is that in the color? For, personally, from the historic value, yeah. I'd like to use the original simply because of what what the house is and kind of how it, mm -hmm. we as board members are custodials Oops. for the, that, and that's what it's representing. So I, I kind of, that's my viewpoint, but I, I just like it. I'm a vis very visual person. I like to see it. Okay. So um, I like the option, and it, and you just yeah. you threw another option out there that I'm like, well, ooh, I haven't even thought right. that it's possible. Um, so without seeing anything, my first choice would be to stay with the original. Exactly, mm -hmm. but you know, yeah. and if it's going to be a lot of work to come up with the option that we may not even want, yeah, yeah. that's it, it, yeah. And, and, yeah. Yeah. and time and and time's money, and, and I don't ever want to waste anybody's time if it's it's not something we're going to do. But it's nice to know that the option exists, isn't it? Yes. I have one other yeah. comment or, or possibility is um, a the, using the old one and then have a new parallel photograph, you know, from the same angle, basically, mm -hmm. just side by side, you know, then and now kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that was, and maybe in ovals or something, you know, just to make it less rectangular. But that was just something that I was thinking in terms of a letterhead type of thing. It would be interesting with the historical comparisons. I that would be pretty simple. That's that's <laughs> neat. And the other aspect is we want it to represent the house, but I also we don't want to take away from the names of the people that have served right. because that's right. really what it's right. what we we're looking at is the people have served. What do you What do you think? That was the intent to start, but mm -hmm. but for mm -hmm. having the letterhead, I, I think that's a beautiful idea too. Mm -hmm. But for the uh, wall acknowledgement, mm -hmm. that historic. I, I like the idea of the more mm -hmm. historic one, but I do mm -hmm. think for a letterhead, I think we would like to be using that mm -hmm. as a letterhead to reach out. I think it is um, playing around. With it's it puts a, a nice, um, mm -hmm. which brings up a whole nother subject. But the bottom line is it puts us at a, a, a nice, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Um, stamp of who we are. It's almost like um, having the city seal or, or something. I, I would like to bring us back to that point where we're, we've got something that really says, hey, we are special and this is us. And I think that's, that's a, a good thing. Okay, um, moving on to scrapbooks. I don't have any updates we, yet. No. I'd like to see if, um, this is a busy time, but um, where I could have one or two people that would be interested in, in putting the things together, you know, I, I keep filing all this stuff, you know, but it's just a matter of um, getting all the paper and notebooks and all that kind of stuff. So I'm willing to I'm willing to volunteer myself mm -hmm. in December. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But until yeah. I, the, I'm until through the wedding and I can breathe, <laughs> right. Right. I, I can't. And just so y'all know, my refrigerator went out too. So, oh, wow. so, so, so this is how it goes. So I am waiting for a refrigerator to pick this week before Thanksgiving. Um, so yeah, yeah. It, it is what Love it is. It. It's fun. Love it. <laughs> It'll be interesting. This, this Thanksgiving might be a real interesting one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> we can talk about a day sure. at some point. But uh, but if you guys want to work on that prior to, to yeah. December and me not having a twitch, that that would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else that would like to volunteer to work on that? You know, I mean, if you want to put it off into next year, I mean, my holidays are I'm not crazy. Going to Everybody's holiday. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I, I'm I not volunteering now. Just January, February time frame. Yeah. 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 And that will be rotated off so yeah. the board. So that's, I know that this is yeah. my delay mm -hmm. too. But anyway. Yeah. So anyway, I would yeah. volunteer next year, but I just, from now to the end of the year, I'm too busy. It's on film. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> so I might. <laughs> I might have more time. I, I know how my, you know. You can my, take the historian person uh, position <laughs> next year. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's not an urgent thing right now, that's so. yes. Oh, oh yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> okay, um, moving on to um, the Callahan House Advisory Report to the City Council. And so, really, what it is, it we, um, Karen and I met, and we, um, Karen Reed and I met, and we went over basically what the past reports have looked like and that's basically what we're going to do is stick to what the past reports have looked like and and um very much copy that um the only difference that we have done is we did this we did um with karen cruz's help we did the, the questionnaire for the clubs um and I, we've gotten this back and I would like to for us all to sit down um, Connie you're on that as well and I'm willing to um, the week of the 14th is the only one that I really have any time to even look at this guys so I, I would like if it works and it's if it works I'd like to get together and sit down and go through all of it I have looked at what has been said and some clubs were wanted to fill them out individually. Mm -hmm. um, I met with six of the seven and you got you you got the, the, the one place. and they wanted to do just the one. Right. So um, basically I'd like to take those surveys um, and bring them together and then then we're going to um, I'm not quite sure how to do this, but I think that information needs to be submitted and how those surveys should just disappear or be thrown away. So that should be um, tallium. tallium, and then the, the surveys themselves should be um, saved. Um, I, I'm not quite sure on, on that, but, but um, for the most part, they're very... Um, <clears throat> Excited, and they had because we had talked about bringing more clubs. I got some great responses back from a couple of the women. That one of them is a, a teacher, and she would love to be able to bring her um, girls of science to be hosted here as a club. Now, but the big question that she had is, do we have Wi-Fi and the ability to do that? And I'm, I'm like, there's a city Wi-Fi. We have Wi-Fi. We can do that. I think that's good. And I know that um, Kathy has very much been clear that she's concerned about bringing more clubs in. But I've spoken with Ben and, and with Jeff um, Friesner and was assured that we could do that with the staffing. And um, so that shouldn't be added onto Kathy's plate per se, but uh, maybe included onto um, Jacqueline's or, or whatever city staff is um, been a, uh, chosen to handle the clubs. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that um, we have the option and the ability to do that and it's really what what the house was intended for and and I think we need to hold true to what the intention of the house is. I mean that's what the gift is. It wasn't just for the, um, and again I'm speaking my personal opinion and also what 
look, reading from what Thomas said in this letter in gifting this house to the women of Longmont, I think we do need to hold true to the mission in that sense that it is a gift and that um, for women to meet and if that includes, you know, like the book club had a couple of gentlemen in it and other girls, I think that's great. I but that's I great think I, I think the intent is that it should be used and um, that's why we're here. And we have the events in order to have the house open for these clubs to meet. Um, this is, and I want to put forth to the board, um, you know, it, it always plays into the cost on what we can afford to do and what other people can afford to do. I think, you know, um, we've got to have a balance of how many clubs um, should be here. It can't be over the top to the point where it's not workable. But I think we should look at, at the number of events that we're hosting um, that are revenue and then what is a, a good measurable group of, of what can, we can handle, what's acceptable. And then um, again, then we need to look at the process of who chooses the groups? How, who, how are they selected? Are they just, you know, if, if somebody raises their hand highest? I mean, that was one of the questions that was brought forth to me um, by um, a couple of the people of the club. And I said, well, that's a really good point. I don't know um, exactly. Maybe we should be putting up a selection process that they have to fill in a, a um, application. And we look at the application and then we see what is. Do we have that many people interested? You wouldn't we believe do that? how many people brought forth and said, we didn't think it was an option because we thought all the club option things were well, and I do want to just reiterate that you know at the beginning of the meeting there was money, 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 money. Where's right. the money, money, money? Right. So that's one hand, and then there's the use part. Mm -hmm. And I think that like, there are designated group days mm -hmm. um, because that allows for the the revenue options that yes. are very important for the historical very preservation. Important. Absolutely. And there's only so many hours in the day. And yeah. maybe there's a slot from two to four that mm -hmm. might be available. I'm just saying that out. But probably wouldn't fit for a STEM group of, of students. Right. You know, so right. um, be, yeah. you know, just be aware that there's this huge money, 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 use, 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 mm -hmm. push and pull going on. And that mm -hmm. um, ultimately, I believe, Karen has been tasked mm -hmm. with balancing those two. Kathy. 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 Sorry, Kathy. Yes. I meant to say Karen. Yeah. I am. Wait a minute. So, that's true. So, um, I think you have some really excellent questions, and I really feel most comfortable if Kathy was here to hear those portions. Absolutely. So, I really just so I, 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 I agree. She's here. Oh, fine, but it can't be just no. And that's what I've heard from, from Kathy. But ultimately, no it Correct me if I'm wrong, but the answer can be no, because she's been hired to do that piece for the city and has the responsibility for that piece. Mm -hmm. And this is an advisory board yes. whose input is very important. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's on the staff shoulders to do that piece. Yes. Except, except if, and just, just one minute, except if you're looking at and you really look at the calendar dates and how many much staffing is really going on, there are openings. Just like you said, it could be from two to four and may not be available for certain groups. It's fine. It can't just be, no, I think there's a workable option and I'm not talking it. We've gone from 33 clubs, and I'm not saying that we're going back to 33 clubs, but it can't be just seven or a certain person's um, daughter's book club because she happens to, it works. for right. and, and she can't just choose and pick and choose which ones are allowed. Right. I think it should be open to everybody and not just certain groups because they they're friends. 
it and I think that's an excellent right. point. I think that also we're having some major renovations happening next yes, year. I agree. And that to have a ton of groups added in mm -hmm. um, when you're going to displace them right. for renovation, yeah. the timing's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This, this, interesting. This, this, this is why we're, yeah. we, we put the club affair off. But again, I don't think it should be off the table to discuss it and try to come up with a um, solution or a, a, an, a working solution so when we get to that point after the renovations are there we can put it in place and there's got to be a happy medium somewhere that that okay is it 10 clubs is it 15 I don't know but the discussion I think should take place and positively and try to come up with options so okay if we can only work these certain dates and that's it but I was also brought forth that that's why we have city staffing that we can do this and then we are an advisory board but we've also been a fundraising board in the sense for the house mm -hmm. we've had the ice cream social and other things this is one of the things that if we want to choose because it has been stated by Kathy's clubs do not pay for themselves I got that clubs don't pay for themselves but they fulfill what the charter is of the gift, and that's mm -hmm. key. It is very key, and it stated what this was given for. It was never given as, oh, just, just a wedding movie. This is, it was never given as that. So it, it's got to be balanced, and I'm sorry, and I took them to try, please. Um, I just want to say, too, um, you're mentioning the charter, and you know, obviously they gave this to us in 1938. They didn't give us an endowment to pay for it. Yeah. So we have to use, and the city is managing it now, but we have to have revenue. And I, I weddings know. and dinners and stuff bring in Section. revenue. Clubs don't. And so, and also, they gave it as a club place for the women, which it's supported by, not completely, but it is supported by tax dollars, which are paid by men and women. And so I think we need to say times have changed and get away from this. It's for the women because, if it, you know, really we could have a lawsuit by a men's group and say, hey, you know, we could lose our, so we, we've got to be careful. We've got to a change with the times and say that, okay, yeah, we understand why the Callahan's donated. There was nothing for women back then. It was 1938. Right. We just walked out of a depression. Times were different. I think there were 7,000 people in Longmont at that time. Um, there's 100,000 people in Longmont now, and we're a thriving city. But, you know, we have to make something work here that, yeah, we want to keep it as a, this, that people can use it, but we also don't want it to drive it into the hole because we got so many clubs, we, don't, we can't do revenue generating. I, I agree. I think we it's a, it's a, yeah, absolutely. I think that everyone is in agreement with there is a balance that's necessary for this house revenue generating and meeting um, the, the purpose of the gift. Um, and I think given that that balance has to occur, and obviously the city will understand, all right, there are certain days that are best for revenue generating events, that might also tumble into the middle of the week rather than just weekends, it's fine. Um, but there's also a an importance and value to creating criteria for selecting clubs that will meet here. And I think that that's probably a component I think you're trying to, to address is that we, we need to probably come up with some criteria for selection. And is this something that scheduling a work session, is that's where you're going with that? That's probably a place to discuss that. Mm -hmm. if, if we're going to come up with a criteria, and if so, what is it? An application then, form, whatever that may be. Sure. Yeah. And be, bear in mind, it can't be too selective, again, if it's supported by tax dollars. We right. Respect everybody who's paying yes, taxes. Absolutely. So we can't, you know, if we're going to set criteria and, and eliminate a certain group of people who are contributing to the upkeep of this, we have to be very careful there. Right. I, I don't disagree, but I also want to, rec I think we need to historically recognize what the gift was. And I, I, I disagree. I think there's a lot of men's organizations that, that, have groups and, and meet and, and certain things and I know that uh, uh, 
the same goes for the, some of the Latino groups and the Latino youth. We're not excluding anyone. I think anybody, any ethnicity can apply. I think that we just need to have some criteria. And, and I understand where you're coming from, but I don't think we forget the past either. Um, yeah, I'm not saying forget it, I'm saying we have to be inclusive. Right. I'm, I'm way for being inclusive. We already have the book club with the gentlemen and uh, others, so we have wedding venues. and We don't exclude anybody from walking in these doors, so I don't. I don't think that we need to bring that as, uh, as a major point, but that's, again, uh, that's a discussion that needs to be decided by the board on what the criteria is. I think personally this comes down to we need to set a, up a, um, a working um, group that will work on this, who's willing to volunteer, or should this be put off? To Next year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so <clears throat> none of you guys That's are wrong. Guy. Nobody's, nobody's <laughs> wrong, right? Yeah. In, the, the, in this discussion, for sure, is, is one thing that's that's clear to me. But the there's a balance. I think picking a number is the wrong way to go. I think the balance has to do with availability. Okay. You know, because Absolutely. because you have different puzzle pieces fit in different ways at different times. So two years from now, it might be a different group. If it's a little differently, you can add another clue. So be cautious about a number. Um, I think we're on our city end open to discussion about how to get more clubs in. And, um, we have had a little bit of movement on staffing. Finally, I mean, staffing has been a nightmare, but we have had a little bit of movement. So, so things are starting to open up um, as far as, or at least I hope they're starting to open up. <laughs> It seems that way. Mm -hmm. And the, the one thing that I, I would be, that scares me a little bit is when you talk about criteria for a club. I'm all, I, I, I like, I'm okay with the, you know, if you have three spots to fill and you've got five clubs, you have to have some way of choosing. Right. That makes sense. I just be really cautious about what that, what that criteria is as far as that equitable. Mm -hmm. Equitable offering, so that that's it's where I would. Open. And this is, I think, it leads right into exactly what you're talking about: is getting together and talking about those things. So, yeah. may I speak to that just a little yeah. bit? Um, and in that criteria, the, the, I envision because for grant writing purposes, you want to diversify the clubs. You want to show all the different types of clubs that are meeting, and also how they. Are providing benefit to the community in, in all those different ways. So there's a, I mean, it's a little more complicated than it's not a number, and it is not a well, is it men or women? It is what are they about? What do they do for themselves? What do they, what do, they do for the community and beyond? That's that's I, what I'm focused on, and, and solely for. You know, the purposes of making us it look really a criteria and would strike me as one a good one might be something along the way. Does does this club contribute as a as a I don't even want to say nonprofit, but as a uh -huh. as a volunteer, as a philanthropy to the community. Yeah. That would be so would strike me as a solid criteria. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Just again, be cautious. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not yeah. arguing, not saying no on anything. Yeah. I, I, and I think it's a good discussion. I think it's a thank you, Ben. I appreciate the discussion, and and that is key. So coming up with a thing, and the other comment that was said to me by you and both both Jeff is that Kathy is is supposed to be scheduling and doing stuff, but she doesn't have to host every single event. That's what we have staff for, and that was what was stated to me. And I'm taking you on that, and I understand staffing is difficult. So as a burden wise, this shouldn't fall on Kathy to set up and do all the clubs. It should actually be part of staffing. And that is, again, a balance that she doesn't have to be here for everything. And I understand where she's coming from because of, I'm very much of a, that type of person that if, if I sign up, I'm doing it, I'm gonna follow through, I wanna make it handled. But, but I think, 
I think that's one of the things that her job is to schedule and handle the overall production of the house, correct? Is that my understanding of that position? That is not her only job, but, but that is one of her. That's one of her jobs. In my misunderstanding, I guess I want to make sure that we as a board have a clear clarification of what that entails because, again, I don't want anybody overwhelmed. I just think that, that um, trying to have a better informed, so when we're doing this, we're, we're coming and looking at it from the, up here, not micro, to oversee the, the big picture of what we're doing as we're moving forward. And I think for the first time, we, we actually have one new staff member who has come on board in the last wow. two years. Wow. So I'm not trying to, I'm just sharing with you that, that, that staffing and finding a, a, there's a desire to have more than a warm body here. Yeah. We want to have a very um, professional and capable uh, host or hostess mentality when they're here, yes. even, even for our clubs and yeah. things like that. So um, it has not been easy because we don't offer 40 hours a week of benefits yeah. to do that. And, and the times are inconsistent. Yes. And finding somebody who is able to come and during school drop off times mm -hmm. or during yeah. other parts of life has been difficult. Mm -hmm. So we, as Ben mentioned, it's starting to loosen up. We've got one amazing staff member, new on staff, and we hope to add to that because there is indeed a demand for it. Mm -hmm. So see, it's, it's coming. Thank you. But sharing that information is so crucial because you know it's hard if we aren't um, understanding exactly where you guys are coming from because you know we're making assumptions and, and again assumptions are not always the best thing so if we have informed information I, I think it helps in, in the discussion so again so we're going to go ahead so we're getting a little off track of, of the agenda um, but I appreciate the information, Karen. There was one quick question yes. for clarification. Who does the service for clubs? Is it Jacqueline? Jacqueline. Okay. It, it can be either or, and both have mm -hmm. life. Exactly. Okay. That, okay. That, that, that I just, was, so I just wanted to clarify. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, we haven't, to my knowledge, we haven't canceled a club due to life happening for one of the other. So if mm -hmm. something happens, someone else comes in and fills it in. So, yeah. yeah. I was here for one of my my son was here for one night. Oh, yeah. Super. So, so you've done clubs too, Finn? Oh, I was here one night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was so we so can put you on the schedule? <laughs> I'm kidding. But, but see, <laughs> meaning the not, city that city staff is not just the Callahan staff. Yeah. Right. Yes. So I think the good thing for us to have then is before we start talking about how many more meetings, is what are our resources available? Mm -hmm. You know, let's get a good idea of how many hours we can, of staffing we have per week before we start staff, I said, should say per month. But they'd have to be trained so well to take yeah. over. So if we know what our resources are and we know what our staff current use of those resources. resources. Like where is everything? Open up the house, do this, that. But so Jacqueline does a lot of that. I yeah. mean, she does, she does a lot of that. And I mean, she was here for all the clubs when I was here and, and doing all of it knew exactly, you know, and she handles the clubs. And to learn and curve to get someone else trained. Yeah. The yes. new person, her name is Betsy, is being okay. trained. She's going to be at two winter venues mm -hmm. this year. Good. Um, mm -hmm. And if it's anything like other areas that have been with the city, it takes a good solid year to get someone underneath, you know, ready to move in a different direction. Mm -hmm. So I'm just assuring you that it's happening. Mm -hmm. um, they're very pleased with the results. Mm -hmm. And they still have their eyes open for other people who have that very odd, flexible niche mm -hmm. to do a great job. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a unique, yeah. it's a unique um, uh, asking for, for yes. people to do it. So that's good to know. I and again, thank you. But but I like the aspect that okay, we've got somebody. So that's that's a start. And and very good point that we look at scheduling and, and what works. And I think that's that's key. Um, I've got a question. Yes. Um, and this is more for Ben as well. And I think um, if we were looking at the, going back to the reports and, this, and the questionnaire kind of thing, um, is the, and scheduling and purpose criteria, 
um, are there any criteria um, or matrix matrices for uh, usage of like the senior center and the different? I know the public library has has their meeting room criteria and things like that that we could look at or um, be aware of, or it, it may be online for that matter. You know, well, if you're wanting to rent a room at the museum or rent a room or whatever. No. Okay. I think short answer would be no. We okay. certainly have suitability. You know, right. Have, each right. facility has suitability. Right. I think where you guys are going, though, is more of a... Of a, a, a suitability between A and B, like a, a choosing between this group and this group, sort of thing. And, you know how appropriate are there? And, and again, I, I don't know what the demand is and what we have available and all those things. So, so the short answer to that is no, because we I mean we manage rentals right. in a different way. Right. You know, are they suitable for our facility for what what we generally do? You know, we wouldn't have a, a pot shop come and do a seminar. At the memorial building, for example, right. we're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> not there yet. Yeah. Maybe, have, maybe mushrooms after the last. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but that it's so. The answer is no yeah. to that. Okay. But but I, I'm good with where you guys are going on this. Yeah, I, I think, think the format of a matrix definitely exists. So if you guys yeah. have your criteria and yeah. want to give the weight to certain areas, there are definitely forms and yeah. things, yeah. scoring matrixes yeah. out there to insert yeah. your criteria. Into is, there. is there a specific area that we should look to pull those matrices from? You know, I think if you guys um, set together your areas that you'd like to score on, you know, at these mm-hmm. later meetings, mm-hmm. finding the Format to put them in will be pretty easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you can certainly help with that. Yeah. Okay, it's good to know. Well, so so that was that was my other issue. So, in going forth, um, because this is going to be put to city council, do we want to um, ask for a? Um, A, uh, I want to say grant, grant. Time slot. or no, not no, not time slot, but um, that is on my mind slot to, to, to get on the city council agenda. But no, do we want to ask if they want to support us in the sense of giving us like a grant for somebody that's that is um, less fortunate that would like to be here and we'd like to cover that cost. That was one of the things that I was thinking and rolling around in my mind because I know they have supported other groups and, and organizations that way um, by giving funds to support a specific view of, of what the council's agenda is. Did is we this want to ask? kind of specific right now? Or yes. we're, we're, we're getting way ahead of ourselves. I agree. Yeah. I, I, that's we're something we could certainly talk about in a work session. Mm-hmm. But I think that's that's yeah. Really I have no I, no knowledge to go on. With. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it's. I think we could talk about that sort of thing in a work session. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. I think so we're that's too much out there right now. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, moving on, Ben. So, is there any other questions or concerns that you want to go in regards to the report to City Council? Anybody? Is there is, is no no work session really scheduled? Yes, um, that was one of the things, uh, the works of the scheduling it was um, the week of the 14th, anything open for you guys? Is there a month that you have, is it no, November or December? It's November, gotcha. I'm sorry, <laughs> November. Didn't you already have, already have that work session last month? We, Maureen and I met and uh, did some preliminary work. Oh, okay, I just started, because I don't know what was discussed at that one, so. Okay. Really, yes. Yeah. We, we, well, I stated that we, yeah, I did state, and that we were going to follow basically what we had, same, the reports have been done in the past. Yeah, the same format that the same other format. Uh, reports have done, and I have started to collate the information. I am doing, uh, I went back and listened to the board meeting, and it is uh, 2020, 21, and 22 that we decided to do. Mm-hmm. So, kind of can't do anything until December is over. Okay, I just, uh, but, but yeah, I've started to uh, put form, format it, put it together, and get the, the statistics together. 
I think at the last meeting we decided we would use what Kathy has on her computer. I guess. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I'm using her reports. Okay. We're, we're using most of Kathy's information. Yeah. That's all. Um, yeah, we talk yeah, about it and, and, But there's not going to be a, a complete coalition of, of the full year until December. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're working on it. Yeah. But if, if we could go ahead and meet and go through the um, all the questionnaires and collate those uh, in the sense of um, what their answers were. Um, that would be great. Could, is there any way that you can meet the week of the 14th any better? What day for you? Next week. Yeah. Next week we're we talking about? Yeah, that's yeah. what we can decorate it. The 14th is the day that we're meeting here to decorate the house. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty open as well. Um, I prefer not to do it on Thursday morning, but then I'll, I'll spot the Bible study that day. Oh, absolutely. I got your set things and I get that. Yeah. That, so, really, so, the rest of the week is pretty long. Um, it's up to you. You've got the yeah. goofy schedule. Pardon me, let me rephrase it. You've got the wedding schedule. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, actually, that's the. That's, I could. So Thursday's out for you. So I can either meet on um, Tuesday or Wednesday. Friday's bad, but um, Tuesday is bad. Friday's bad. Monday, 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 Monday. Monday. But the question is, I don't know when the house is open. I don't. I don't know when Kathy will be here or Jack will. That's well. Let's let's okay, just worst comes worst. If something happens. Check the club meeting test because that's on that um, thing that she sent yeah. us, right? Yes, it right. is. Oh, and I did not bring it. Well, better. And we could probably meet when they're meeting in, in right. a different that's space. Yeah, right. we can meet down here. They usually meet upstairs. Yeah. Not all of them. I don't know the bridge clubs meet which place downstairs. Okay, so we're gonna meet on Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. 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 All right, so that says third Tuesday. Oh, gosh, that would be the fourth. Yeah, that would be the third no, Tuesday. Be the third Tuesday. Okay, so third the third Tuesday, Tuesday Embroider and Moore is here from 10 till 2. So. And they're upstairs, so yeah, we, we, could, could we could meet here Tuesday the 15th at 10 o'clock. Let's do that. Okay. And yes. then we're not. Tuesday the 15th at 10 a.m. in the dining room. Yes. All right. And that's you and Connie and I. Yes. Anybody else is welcome. Yes. So we're meeting at um, 10 a.m. on Tuesday the 15th. Correct. And anybody's welcome? Okay. Um, now the board applicant interviews. Um, 10 minutes. Um, basically, that's what was supposed to take place today, was it not? We talked about the availability, availability of that, but we didn't have details about how many people uh, to be interviewers. The city council had, or the city clerk had suggested one to two, and three was fine. And three would work. Three would, three would work. So okay. Because that was, I feel like that was your guys' goal. Was to it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or in the state When's the drop dead date? It has to be done by the twenty. What? Yeah. Come on. And thirtieth. Yeah. I think it's actually the first. But yeah. What day is the first? The, that's Thursday. So it's the thirtieth. Right. Okay, that's a Wednesday. It's, it's the end of the month. So, originally we were going to consider doing it after this, after the board meeting. Did that not get no. scheduled? That is not scheduled. Do you just need the three people to be involved so that they can then work 
as a group to schedule it from there because at that point it just would be based on the availability of the three representatives yes. and right. the Correct. candidates. So Correct. do we have those two people selected? Um, no. I think in the last meeting, Karen, you and Ann, um, we both volunteered. Yeah, we volunteered. I always thought you might be, be since you get it off here, like right. you're ready to right. jump in there. And I would be glad to do that. Um, if, it, if I'm here. Yeah, Connie, Connie was <laughs> here at the last meeting to ask. Right. So that was one of the. We were hoping you would be yeah. willing to be in there. I don't have it in front of me how many there are. Six. I believe six. 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 Oh, there are six, six now. Okay. Six people per force. That's what I was saying. 15 to 20 minutes piece. Mm -hmm. Well, you're one, Marie. And Con, uh, Candy is one. And I imagine those two of you will really quickly. Right. Yeah, Would you guys be okay if um, just have Kathy reach out to Connie and Karen and coordinate yeah. the and Anne. And, 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 and I did. I'm sorry. I looked this way. I don't know what name I said. I apologize. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to to, to that just coordinate the, yes. the interviews. Yes. Absolutely. From there. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Jeff has asked that. Um, he and myself also be invited to those. Oh, I will do everything I can to be there. Um, Jeff will, we'll see. <laughs> he's, okay. he's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and tiny side note, I don't know if you guys know, but Jeff was officially promoted to director of the department, the new department. Soon to be named Sunday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is it? It includes recreation, library, and museum. And golf. And wow. golf. Wow. Wow. And wow. Everything that flows underneath those. Yeah, I do see that. That's so, huge. Salary. <laughs> is he <laughs> still doing all the stuff with the senior stuff too? Or do we Seniors have are under the other new department, which includes children and youth resources and senior services. Senior yeah. children and youth resources, senior services. There's a housing component in housing there, authority. and there's one other. Wow. Hmm. So that's a different department that that is an open job to hmm. the director for that. Because last, um, last I heard our he perfect was doing world, that too. He, he is doing that also right now. So we still, it's still community all together in community services because there's no person for that job. And we're still working on a senior center manager. Um, I know we're off track, so sorry about that. No, just information. Yeah. Information. no, this is a lot of information, but the bottom line is that's a lot. We wish senior services was with us, honestly, but that wasn't decided that way. So, but that's okay. Yeah. We yeah. work yeah. so closely yeah. with them that yeah. it's good we, because it's like this. How do you split that? We don't, we, we don't, we, we've been apart, but there's nothing that changes for us. Okay. Nothing in our relationship with senior services changes. In fact, I'm excited about growth. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations yeah. to Jeff. That's a well deserved promotion. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so, um, I have a quick question. Yes. Can somebody tell me when those interviews are going to happen? Because I'm going to wait until after uh, then to reach out to the prior board members. Like I've mentioned, I didn't want to. I don't know. It's so Kathy's going to yeah, so so yeah. yeah. contact her immediately can, on, can, on that. So. Kathy, just just let can she be pass it along to ask her to just let me know what day they've selected so that I can wait till after then to reach out to the prior board members to ask for me about her approval. Or should I just go ahead and oh, I, I call a prior board members? I don't think it's before I didn't the fourteenth. I didn't want to. Oh wait, we're talking. Make second. anyone uncomfortable? The second. Yeah, so like they're obligated yeah. or expected. Does that make sense? I'm not understanding what you're talking about. I'm sorry. She doesn't want to have a conflict about asking the board members to help with the, um, the Santa Open House on the 2nd. If they're interviewing and then they, for some reason, are not selected or, or something along those lines, she doesn't or want feel it as obliged. a... Or feel obliged yeah, to do it. I don't so, want to... Do you want to ask me. after it's the interview? After the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I got. Doesn't that seem yeah. appropriate? Yep. Yeah. yeah. My question is, how many people do we... Do we really need a lot of help? Kathy mentioned two or three. Really? No, Why so many? many? I don't I understand. understand. We've never had that before. Well, we've had high school helpers, volunteers. And, and really, it's more to man and watch the, um, the 
hallway. The stairs. The stairs. To keep them off the and, stairs. Um, and there's a few of them. Wouldn't we find a hint to just things. put a velvet rope across that yeah, stairway? Right there's still duck under out. it. So oh, there you I have a sign here that it. says they no do. <laughs> We've never had one that had a sign, and I've and I've worked. I've never, you know, they don't work that up there. Yeah, but what it was the end of. We can put it right here. They don't even really mm -hmm. don't even need to go into the kitchen. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's a great suggestion, mm -hmm. but but you know, and I will never turn away a warm body that's willing to be here and be part of it. And it's it's a good event, and people mm -hmm. walk away feeling good about it. So yeah, but that doesn't answer. I really, I well, mean, well, having them pose it as a question, and we block off that stairway. Yes. I mean, so it's if there's a fire, people well, run down it. Well, that velvet rope. It's what happened on the last uh, at the art walk. Yeah, we had a sign up. That there was a, 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 a velvet. And the same thing, thing upstairs across. on that stairway. What? Stairs on the door. She put some right. block across the stairway. I, I think it has to be a velvet rope yeah. because due it's, to fire it's, hazard. Yeah, something they can actually can can get through. They have to. Is what it was. If we put a sign on it that says no admittance, you know, emergency only, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the stairway upstairs. There's a doorway. We could put emergency only mm -hmm. on it. No admittance otherwise. So yeah. obviously if there's a fire, they can go down it. Yeah. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I, I think I've worked that to it. It's impossible for one person to try to you got people coming through, they want to go up there, and you have no sign saying they can't. Right. I think we put a sign on the doors. Sign, exactly. We need to put some signage. It is. Is. We need to decide and do that. Okay, then mm -hmm. let's make a decision. But to have an additional right. two to three people isn't a bad idea because, Jen, it's your birthday. It's likely you're well, going to have a surprise. A They're going to go ahead and steal you away. It'll be nice to have the extra that's there in that room. No. Also, no, the hallway. that's a problem. Uh, how you handled that last year it was bad. Yeah. So, anyway, well, yeah. having an additional help. And we did because I had somebody take my place. Yeah, and I can't Kathy had already told me to leave. Yeah. And you told my son, when flown here as a surprise, to go back. Come back later. Your mom's not dead. We, it's just, it was a bad situation. It was bad. So, yeah. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, I didn't realize it was your birthday. Is it your birthday? The December 2nd is Yes, it is. And I doubt anybody's going to fly in, but I haven't seen my kids for two years, so it was big. Uh, we are having a family vacation, so I, in December, somewhere else, so I don't think anybody's going to fly in, but I have no control. Oh, God. No, it's and it's not like it's an hourly job that you have to be here. No. But it sure seemed like the last year. So, But as far as having people, extra people, mm -hmm. if you want to, if somebody doesn't get tired of moseying around, though. Yeah. I think to just jump on that, one thing to remember when we're bringing people in to work is I always respect their individuality and their needs. So if you bring somebody in, if, you know, like what happened to you with the family member is surprising you, that should not be turned away. And I was just trying to set up to talk Yeah, or to say, me. yeah, go talk to your mom. You know, that's like, where are you? Um, wow. I, I'm i sorry. I wasn't here. I didn't have yeah. any of that. So, yeah, but just treat everybody with respect. And, you know, we all have lives, too. So, yeah, we're going to be here to help. But if we have a family emergency or if we have something, we have to respect that. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Okay. So maybe... Having additional help isn't a bad, bad thing. thing. Right. It, 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 it yeah. isn't a bad thing. Uh, so as soon as we know to schedule it, because my life is very complicated, the sooner I know when it's it's going to be scheduled, the better off we're going to be. I thought it was going to be today, and I wasn't told anything different. Um, the other <coughs> thing we could say is the three of us on the selection board, we could say that is not a criteria. We'll just agree on that right now. Whether they tell the person or not, it's totally to me. It's totally not. Totally not. Okay. So we'll just take away that doubt right away. Yeah. Okay. That, that would be helpful. helpful. So you can go ahead. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, just I raise my hand. It's whether they can, yeah. we'd love to have them if it, that they're if they are willing and available and they'd like to come. But, it's, but yeah. In, in fact, there's there won't no, be a question. We won't even know. No, we're not even going to know. Yeah, we won't so even know. None of our business. But let's put it that way. No more email follow up. Thank you. I appreciate it. And there's no problem with sitting in the middle. With what? With, there's no problem with that. 
from the city, city standpoint, you can probably need to reach out to no, who are no, it's not. I, mean, I understand your, your thought there, but as far as that goes, no. Okay. Okay. Well, so, do you know the names of the new applicants that are poor? I don't, matter. I don't have all of them. No, I, it doesn't I, matter. My impression was two, two community members with no prior knowledge of them. Something like that. And the yeah, other ones had some close. sort of association in the past with the Mountain yeah. House. So, um, and that's something that, yeah. Okay. So, two fresh, two yeah. who have touched the county app before. Ah, good play. And there, uh, there's six, mm -hmm. is what I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, moving on to new business, um, the Christmas uh, decor packet. It's really kind of hard. I have a Kathy here to know when she had thought about that. Can so that off to December, exactly. I think we can table that to December. Oh, pack up! I thought it was packet. I was like, what is this? What is this? No, it's pack up for you. Why don't we say take the undecorating the tree? <laughs> yeah, we could. Yeah, I'll put it on December. Yeah. Put it on December's agenda. Okay, um, we already have done other business. Future agenda items are the open houses. I, guess I have one other business yes. one. I, have. I still, um, Karen, I, I may have lost it. I don't have the docent document for the Callahan House tour. I was hoping you could resend that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Any other business that we need to discuss? I apologize. Oh. Um, yeah, I have something, I brought it up every year, but, <laughs> okay, we've talked about the Christmas open, we call it an open house, but technically it's only for children and parents, yeah. and we do a lot of work decorating, and, you know, a lot of people just can't walk in off the street, you know, we have reservations for the, and I brought it up before, but I'm just going to bring it up one more time, is that if we would move Santa to the carriage house, decorate it up, and then have the house beautifully decorated and have that open for an open house, we would kill two birds with one stone. We would have the kids seeing Santa Claus in a cute little North Pole, and we would have a decorated house that we could actually use as an open house, not just for a select group of people with kids. I think that's a wonderful idea. I think idea. it's a fabulous idea. I have had people walk up to me and say, what's this open house? I can't come. I you know, think want that's to come see wonderful. Because we could here. decorate that like a little North Pole. Little yeah. Station. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to throw it out I there. Like it. I think we could talk about Santa's it. Santa's workshop. A Santa's right. workshop. Sad. Yeah. I think that oh, would be a cute fabulous idea. idea. <laughs> I do. I've been trying for five charge. years. <laughs> I, I, that. I do. I think idea. that's a great idea. Why don't we consider that for next year? That's what we need. Because the year. numbers have been so... And we could get those. I've seen restaurants downtown using them, those heaters. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We could put a few stations along the driveways for those poor little munchkins who have to freeze. And I know I'm kind of a Grinch when it comes to kids. It's like, put a coat on. Because <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> they don't oh, wear It's called parenting. Yeah. Yeah. It's called parenting. Put a coat on and don't wear shorts. Yes. Um, um, so I don't think kids get cold. Yeah, they don't they get cold. Do. Yeah, they don't get cold. But around. it would open the house more to the to an open house then. I think that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> I do. I think that's so a brilliant idea. So we could that for next year, I think. Yeah. What do you think? It sounds like a good idea to me, so yeah. Let's, let's and and if we it. can kill two it's a win-win. I like win-wins. That's, that's great. I love win-win. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, and I never really heard that suggestion. Well, I usually just, just throw it out and it gets kind of mixed. I don't I, don't, I just thought I'm going to bring it up one more time and yeah. push a little harder. Yeah. Yeah, so. I think that we should put that in for future agenda, and we're going to specifically state it that Santa um, Santa Open House um, in Auto House. Um, well, and even if that doesn't become available to acknowledge the need for a adult only. Right. Purview through the building. Yeah, right. You know, it's yeah. getting people to staff it is hard enough and everything. So if we yeah. have them all here for it, plus right. Um, well, that right. Yeah. I, that's, I was just trying great. to. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a great idea, um, and we'll put it specifically under the open houses um, to be discussed in in um, January. And a couple of things like with the kids waiting for Santa Claus. I know last year I was I spent you know quite a bit of time saying don't jump on the furniture. 
Right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Absolutely. Was, we did. Police, police, you know, because they're, they're waiting. Kids. They're yes. the kids and they're waiting, whereas they're going to be up in line in the cold. And when they came in here, they'd be well, grateful for warmth. <laughs> right. And the gazebo could be used as a yeah. little check in station. Well, or honestly, a little warning was day. Day. I think, oh, that opens a lot of possibility. And kids do better outside, getting some fresh air and whatever. Well, I feel it's like it's winter. Yeah. But they're still going to be on. Yeah. Uh, schedule. And yes, yeah. it's still not scheduled. Scheduled. special. Right, yeah. scheduled. I mean, yeah. they would be scheduled, but the yes. open so house standing would be long. Right, right, right. Now. But then this is open and we can do the we open treat this like a normal open house. Yeah. Yeah. I can check it. And then we feel like all our decorating is mm -hmm. being really appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, being I enjoyed. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. Any other additions that need to be added? In addition to that, I know in past years we have been open on the same day as the uh, oh there was Christmas open one. house. Yeah. You know that there's usually the open house tours. The Sesame ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when they do the open houses, you know, in the neighborhood. Tour of homes. Yeah. Oh, the tour of homes. That's or something right. Like that. Yeah. Oh, that means. And we've done that. We've, mm -hmm. we've just been open. You know, not yeah. part of the tour. Was that planned or just an accident that? It no, we. Did it intentionally because oh, okay. of the open houses, people right. were out and about people anyway, and homes. it wasn't like we were ticketed part of that open house tour. This happened, to, yeah. But we coordinated with it, and oh. that was really handy. Mm -hmm. like that. But it was the right. house was open. Yeah, you know when people were out and about. So was that an additional event then that we did? Yeah, we count events on our open house. Okay. Christmas open house, but. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't on the agenda with the symphonies. Right. Okay. Yeah, it was within. Okay, I think that's. Wow. Anyway, that's if, if, we, if, if we can yeah. schedule something. But I do I do like how the Santa thing has happened, and I think we've had such a great response with it that, again, um, the possibility, depending on what the numbers and how fast it sells out, we might consider doing more than one. And I know, again, it's a busy schedule. But I love the idea of just doing the one one for all and, and getting it done. But that's just a personal thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we've got the club affair um, that we were talking about to look at in January. And again, I understand that we're going to have to look um, with when all the work's being done. This is just a, a moving a forward thought looking forward to everything. So is there anything else that needs to be added on to future agenda items that anybody can see? Okay. Um, seeing none, I guess we're on to um, adjournment. Ladies? Yes, 956. I'm going to adjourn. All in, uh, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Well, let's hope that Kathy's feeling better. Yeah. yeah